Ah, this is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. Alrighty then, who's ready for another adventure in Assassin's Creed Syndicate Dreadful Crimes? Because this one's called The Friend of Fleet Street, and a very famous person called Sweeney Todd, or Benjamin Barker, lived there. It's kind of a myth whether he actually existed or not, but basically he's called the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Basically, he cuts people's throats, because in that day he had to go to a barber to have a shave with a cutthroat blade and he literally did cut the throat it was literally cutthroat blade for him and then the chair lifted back and went down to the basement where Mrs Lovett I think it was she had a pie shop and she used the dead people for the meat for her pies and sold it to people so yeah it's kind of the <laughs> I don't know but Johnny Depp Plays Sweeney Todd in the film, so it's really good. But yeah, I don't know whether this will link to him somehow. He's a friend of mine. The whole station is out looking for him as we speak. Ironically, he came here on an investigation himself. Seems several people have gone missing in this part of town. This really does seem like Sweeney Todd, and it's around these times, so if they link him to this. We've had reports of missing people over the last few months. Detective Murphy is just the most recent and the only one who's anybody to speak of. This is, I swear to you guys, this is Sweeney Todd. It killed a lot of people. So yeah, apparently this Detective Murphy was um, maybe on his case. Where the hell did he get to then? Also, a detective here. There's a flower shop here, there's a bakery. Is that the pie shop? This is Sweeney Todd, isn't it? Well, I know who's done it already then, don't you know? <laughs> Quickest solve ever. I saw him going into the barber shop when I was on my way to work. It is, fuck me. It's Sweeney Todd. In this kind of neighbourhood, people come and go. Yes. Fucking love it. Ubisoft are the masters of history. They put Sweeney Todd in the game. Oh, do we get to see him? Does he look like Johnny Depp? I don't need clues. I know who's done it. He wanted to kill the judge, though. He managed to kill him in the end. I don't know about a detective. In the film, he didn't kill, kill a detective, but... An odd man, indeed. He spent a fair amount of time in here, poking around. Right, so this is... Stefan. Bean. I think that's the posh way of saying Stephen. But um yeah, we're looking for the name as Benjamin Barker or Sweeney Todd. Some people around town just seem to vanish. It is mysterious. I'm fucking gotta love this. I'm going straight to the barbershop. I want to see Mr. Sweeney. Or Mr. Nobody Mr. Todd. Sweeney dude. I can't, I mean, it's one of like, my favourite films. I know it's like really gruesome, but Johnny Depp just is one of the best actors ever, seriously. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. <laughs> Feeny Sod. Um, hang on a sec. It's Sweeney Todd, and this guy's called Feeny Sod. What the f Yeah, I gave him a trim. He asked no ended questions. When I cut his hair, I notices a tattoo right at the base of his neck. A green Celtic cross it was. Well wait, 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 wait. Ubisoft, seriously, have you not put they called him Feeny Sod? I wanna accuse him right now. You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. He came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this, even though we all know 
who's done it. It's Mr. Feeney Sod. AKA Sweeney Todd. AKA Benjamin Barker. You just have to kind of collect all the clues. Just to. You can pause and read them if you want. And leave a comment if you know who it is by now. Because we all know. What the fuck? Um, they get their asses kicked by invisible people. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? Oh, hello, hello. No, the he lag switched in. Missing people, but a meat pie he did. Stayed and chatted for a few minutes, then headed off to the barber. Okay, hang on. It's Mrs. Lovett who owns the pie shop who was in connections with Sweeney Todd. They knew what they were doing, it was her idea. With a price of meat, what it is. When you get it, if you get it. Ah. Good you got it. Um she's called Mrs. Lovett. She's called Mrs. Moffat. Is seriously? It's like GTA. They can't actually say the proper car names. I'm told that some people have gone missing, but I don't know anything about it. You do. It was your idea. That Sweeney Todd killed him and then gave you the meat. Burn your eye to me. I've seen the film. Joanna. Goodbye, Joanna. You're gone and yet you're mine. Um. That's um, Sweeney Todd's daughter. Because basically the judge deported him so that the judge could marry his wife. But obviously she weren't having any of it so she apparently killed herself but she didn't. But Sweeney Todd thought she was dead so Sweeney Todd ended up killing her by accident. Well now, I didn't ask about this. But um, Joanna is his daughter. George delivers that to us. It's amazing. The flowers just grow and grow. Sweet boy. Constantly giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, and so on. George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Maybe even today. I mean, Ubisoft, seriously. They're, they've done what everyone does That's in films and stuff. They took I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. They took the mick out of the English accent and stuff a few times, but... George delivers meat from a pies. Lovely lad. I pay on delivery. I believe he picks it up from a local butcher shop. Who oh, really? is? You're in connections, love. I know what you're about. You mean the annoying bloke nosing around? I told him to sod off. I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Oh. Somebody selling cheap around here though, my sales have dropped off. Oh my god. George? I don't know any George. Is that what I mean? She just said that George delivered her meat. But he don't know any George. And he said someone else is selling meat on the cheap. I mean, he, it's dead people mate, it's dead people. See, Ubisoft are just the best game makers ever. They seriously are. I mean, this is the whole of London. You can go anywhere without any loading screens, and it's perfect detail. This ain't the bloody barracks. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very Total little to do with him. boots around and walk straight out. You fucking what? Someone save me. Oh, I can't Lord. fight. Please let me go. Wait, did they hear me? <laughs> They were threatening me and I said, you what? And they were fucking like, shitting themselves. Mr. Sweeney Todd. It looks nothing like him. Sweeney Todd had like a white strip in his hair and he, was, he had a bigger head of hair. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. There's a few little details that obviously I don't think they've put in. Some blood, eh? Now that I've seen this, 
I should ask more questions. We should. Explain, Mr. Todd. I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. What? He's just admitted he cuts people. <laughs> Okay, i seen a trailer for the DLC. Apparently Diego Costa is in the game with one of these olden day footballs. I don't know what it's about in the DLC, but some of these kids have techers. Yeah, apparently Diego Costa is in the DLC. So yeah, you might have to kill him. He's obviously a Templar. I wonder if he's, he looks like an olden day Englishman, but he's half Brazilian, half Spanish. So... Joanna... George, I hoped you'd stop by. I want to see his new haircut. He must be at his house. Oh, I do hope he proposes soon. Is George missing? I can now accuse people. Mrs. Lover and a pie shop. We're about to accuse. Accuse or catch Sweeney Todd. All I did was give him an haircut. Nothing wrong with that. So, what? What? It's not Sweeney Todd. Ubisoft. What the f <laughs> fuck? <laughs> First, you don't call him Sweeney Todd. You don't call Mrs. Lovett, Mrs. L oh, fuck's sake. I'm just one woman. How could I have got rid of all those bodies? Excuse me, I think I'm going to be sick. I just thought... How exactly did they get rid of the bodies? This is messing with my head. I mean, obviously it's Sweeney Todd, and she's just said that she's just figured out that they're dead bodies. He was coming too close to figuring out where all those people went. <laughs> they could pass it out to the baker, the florist, and me. What? You very cleverly puzzled that one out. A very unpleasant crime. Perfect for one of Mr. Raymond's penny dreadfuls. I'm just saying. Ubisoft. It's Sweeney Todd. I mean, don't worry, kid. Alright, so if you didn't enjoy this more than I did because it ended up not being Sweeney Todd, and for the first time I've accused the wrong person, I actually accused two people wrongly, I was three for three. I never accused the wrong person, I always figured out, but. I think they meant to do that because a lot of people know about Sweeney Todd and seen the film and stuff so I think they expected everyone to jump to conclusions which I did and catches out and um, I think that's why they called him Feeny Sod and Mrs Moffat you know it's kind of oh. yeah we, we got the guy in the end that's all that matters because you can not actually fail um, like if you accuse all the wrong people but the one that did it which is near impossible, but if you do that, um, yeah, you 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 fail. Okay, I did once when the peep and every video killing someone. How do you feel this, right? So if you did enjoy this, please leave a like. You can share if you want. Comment if you figured it out, even though I got it wrong. And yeah, subscribe for more dreadful crimes. I've done two already, and I'm about to do a lot more. Let's just see which one's next. It's not that far away, I think. It's weird though, because his barber shop was on top of the bakery, Mrs. Lovett's pie shop, and even like the barber shop was on top of it. So yeah, I thought I thought it'd actually like show the actual shop and stuff, but it doesn't. Oh, shit. The mystery of the twice dead professor, that sounds interesting. Just go and investigate in the next video.